Hello everyone, it's Tech Guy here on another Specs video, and today I'm gonna be looking at the new iPad Pro. So let's look at this iPad that can do anything you do better. Now the iPad Pro is a very familiar iPad. It's probably one of the best tablets you can get out there. To be honest, from my perspective, and as you know, Apple would have announced new iPad Pro models at WWDC, and it's available for shipment right now, as we know. And you can go and get one for a starting price of six hundred and forty-nine dollars on the ten and a half inch model, and seven hundred ninety-nine dollars on the twelve. 9 inch model which is not cheap at all so those are the starting prices for the 10.5 inch and the 12.9 inch models so yeah we get it it's not cheap but is it worth uh, is it worth uh, the price in terms of specs other than real world performance so it's a new iPad with an all new 10.5 inch model which is new and it has a new display which looks super cool and has a great refresh rate of over 120 hertz and more powerful than more PC laptops well I'm not quite too sure about that but at least it's an exception and it will have iOS 11 coming to the i to it in this fall so it's currently shipping with ios 10 but it'll sh start shipping with ios 11 on fall on the official release of ios 11 so it has a retina display of course which retina apple's retina displays look super bright and here we can show it's showing how colors are being showed with the saturation and the density and how split screen also works with it on iOS 11. Also, the Edna display is redesigned for Safari or 3D game and immersive pictures and content. And with this new type of iPhone display, you have a resolution of uh, 2224 by 1668 and of course on the 12.9 inch model you have a resolution of 2722 by 2048 and with that you have a refresh rate on display of 120 hertz and be like oh hertz is not that really important but stuff like screen lag on when you're scrolling or playing games or so it reduces that lag down to a few milliseconds like it's reduced to 33.3 mill milliseconds like it refreshes at that speed it refreshes at just around 33.3 milliseconds specs wise for all you nerd nerdies out there and it also has 600 nits of brightness and a white peach recorded display and 1.8% reflectivity and with uh, it will have multitasking redesign we are still have a swipe up feature as it shows here plus with the new dock but this will be on iOS 11 when the iPad Pro finally gets iOS 11 shipping to it and for performance here it shows that you can get 4k video or uh, even if you're editing and so forth 3d modeling if you're coding on the iMac or you make for 3d modeling whatever this for business use animation gaming whatever you use whatever is your purpose and gaming games are pretty okay in this I mean to be honest, I'm not one of the biggest iPad fans, but this iPad Pro already looks good with performance. And what is it powered by? It's powered by Apple's own custom-made A10X Fusion chip, which is optimized for the 
iPad with also a image signal processor and you get up to 10 hours of battery life average. CPU speed is 30% faster than the previous gen and you have 40% faster graphic speed than the previous gen iPad Pro. And Apple Pencil support you have now even better levels of support and many other things you can do with it even on iOS 11. And with increased refresh rate and so forth, this is probably going to make it one of the best tablets you can get. And also, iOS 11 makes the Apple Pencil more useful with many other features added to it such as instant markup, instant notes, searchable writing and so forth. And for iOS 11, it will be coming this fall on the iPad Pro. And so that's it with the features and now let's head on over to the specs. So let's get a good hold on those full specs. Now for the 10.5 inch model it will become with space grey, rose gold and silver. But the 12.9 inch model will not have the rose gold option. Graph capacity is from 64 gigs. 256 and 512 gigs on both models. Uh, dimensions on the 12 on the 10 and half inch model, you have 9.8 inches of height, uh, thickness of 6.1 millimeters, and a width of 174.1 millimeters. Whereas to on the 12.9 inch model, you have a height of 205.7 millimeters. A width of 220.6 millimeters and a, thick, and a thickness of 6.9 millimeters. The 10.5 inch model weighs 469 grams, and on this LTE model, it will weigh 477 grams. We asked to on the 12.9 inch model, we have 677 grams. And on the cylinder model for the 12 inch model, it would be 692 grams. And you have buttons and connectors, you have four audio speakers. Surprisingly, they still have a headphone jack, which is something you have to mention today. The smart connector, and the home button touch ID, the nano SIM tray array, and all the other stuff. And the displays will be, we are still on the 10.5 inch model. You will have a LED backlit multi-touch display with a resolution 22, 24 by 16, 68 with 264 ppi promotion technology, uh, anti-reflectivity, and so forth. But on the 12.9 inch model, uh, it will be 2732 by 2048 and. Doors are many the main differences, just resolution. Powered by the Apple A10X Fusion chip with a 64 bit architecture with a embedded M10 core processor. So that's going to be some high performance right there. The camera is 12 megapixels uh, with f1.8 aperture, 5x uh, digital zoom, OIS, 6 element lens, quad LED tone flash. Sapphire, hybrid air filter, and many other camera modes, and so forth. You have the recording for 4K at 30 FPS, at 1080p at 60 FPS, and HD 720p at 30 FPS. It has optical zoom at two times, uh, or OIS uh, optical stabilization, and so forth. The front camera will be 7 megapixels with full HD video recording, f2.2 aperture, retina flash, other HDR and so forth. FaceTime video calling also, audio calling with FaceTime audio, four speakers, and you have dual microphones also. And all um, models will be coming with what you will have Wi-Fi models with ARG 2.11 BGM with a band of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. 
24.2 and for LTE models you will have uh, from UTMS to 4G LTE advanced bands it will have nano sim support also it will have the touch ID sensor, 3 axis gyro sensor, axon meter sensor, parameter sensor and the light sensor all models will be coming with digital compass for location and Wi-Fi and iBeam and for cellular models we have assisted GPS and GLONASS cellular and you will unlock it with touch ID, Apple Pay and it will be coming with series 7 in power and battery for the top 25 inch model we have a 30.4 watt hour battery where store and the top 9 inch model is a 40 watt watt hour battery but on the cell Wi-Fi plus cellular models you will get up to 9 hours so on the cellular models you have up to 9 hours of battery life instead of 10 on the standard models and that's basically it for the features and full specs of the iPad Pro so tell me what you think about this 2017 iPad Pro if they're worth their prices or if they're overpriced share your thoughts uh, share this video also like subscribe to my channel for more see you all in the next one bye <laughs>